Hello. I have not made anything for a little while. I realized that I have not done a video of making. So I wanted to show you how I use the strawberry glycerine that I put together, what, about a month ago? And so I'm gonna make a facial toner today. And whoop, got a little piece of strawberry in there. We don't ever put our fingers into our mixtures. So strawberry glycerine, it does not take very much. And trust me, it smells like strawberries. So why am I making a facial toner with strawberries in it? because strawberries are loaded with antioxidants. And this is like a potent little antioxidant kick for your face. And a facial toner, so many people complain about acne, they complain about problem skin, they complain about dry patches, they complain about um, uneven, kind of a T-zone thing where you're oily in the T-zone and then dry other places. Toners can work wonders for your skin. You would be amazed that using a toner can make such a huge difference for your skin. And so today I'm gonna to put together a toner that'll be actually be great for any kind of skin combination, normal, not super dry, not super oily, not really acne prone, but just that really basic, just slight skin concerns. And it'll help hold your moisturizer better. It'll help get your skin cleaner after you wash it. So let's continue on a little bit of strawberry. The next ingredient, I'm gonna use some of this green apple fruit essence. So strawberries and apple, that's what this is gonna smell like. I'm super excited. So this glycerin, the strawberry glycerite is really, really sticky. So if I use very much of it, it would end up feeling really sticky. So I'm using just a tiny amount of that. It's probably gonna end up being about 1% to 3% of the whole mixture. And then I'm gonna use 10 mil of this apple. And apple is known for its malic acid. So that malic acid is wonderful. It's sloughing off dead skin cells, being kind of a gentle alpha hydroxy acid. And so malic acid coming from our green apple essence, yum. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of this hydrolyzed oat protein. Sorry, my container's kind of grody. Um, this stuff is dark brown because oats are brown naturally. And then it's preserved with what's called sodium benzoate. And so it's an organic natural preservative. And I'm gonna use about five mil of this hydrolyzed oat protein. And so that is about five mil of this oat protein and it is, it doesn't really have much smell, but it has a slight, a slightly sweet scent from the strawberries and that little bit of green apple, it smells amazing. So if I were to be making something like this for drier skin, I would use rose petals and I would use calendula. If I were doing something like this for really oily skin, I would use willow bark, which is a salicylic acid, or I would be using, um, let's see, willow bark extract and a little bit more of the apple fruit essence, this um, malic acid, and I would probably be using maybe a lemon peel, something a little more acidic because that helps to uh, calm that acne. It helps bring your skin to the right pH. So it does definitely depend what you're doing this for. So for me, I have pretty normal average skin. I'm gonna be using this. Then it actually takes water. I know that seems weird. Why would you wanna put water? Why would you wanna water it down? But this is a little too strong. This is a little too acidic. So what I'm gonna do is add about 35 mil of water. So this is almost two ounces right here is what you're seeing in this little container. And then we've added water. So the um, green apple essence is preserved. The glycerites, so this is a blueberry glycerite, this is a strawberry glycerite, those are preserved. The hydrolyzed oat protein, that's preserved. So when I just mix those together, they already have enough preservative in them. But when I added water, all of a sudden, I need some preservative. So this is about two ounces, so 56 grams, 50 mil. So I don't, I only need 1% of my preservative. So I need about 0.5 mil. 
So it does not take very much. So that is my preservative. So I'm gonna stir it in here. And I have a fully preserved toner that is fantastic for average skin. I'm just gonna flop a little bit on. And it feels amazing and gives me, well, let's see if I can show you that it, it'll kind of plump my skin up. It doesn't feel sticky. Great under your makeup. There we go, look at how it kind of smooths my skin out. So great under your makeup, great for bedtime, helping to cleanse your skin. I hope you use toner. And if you want to create something custom, come see me. I'm Lene Rhodes, owner of Mix Cosmetics, your custom, sociable, eco-friendly makeup. As you can see, I try and use as many plants as possible. So I'll try and see you next week. Have a great one.